So welcome back guys to Kids Garden Playground. Today we'll be making the second part for the Space Shootout game. So I will be um I will be sharing this uh, project. So if you have any confusion on it, you can just check it out on my Scratch account. So I'm just gonna review the code. So this is the movement code <coughs> and setting stuff in the beginning for the player one. This is for player two. The movement for player two and laser one over here so this is the code for the player one laser and this is the code for the laser laser for the second one uh, laser one and laser two are pretty much the same thing except for some different uh, sensing you just have to switch it switch it around <laughs> and one more thing we have to add so this is if this is for if the player will die. So if the shield will need this later. So if uh, the shield is less than or equal to zero, the player one shield. This is for player one. So if the player one shield is less than or equal to zero, then we can broadcast a new message. We'll need this message later called hide player one shield hide player one shield we'll need the same code for player two if if the uh, player two shield is less than or equal to zero Player two shield is less than or equal to zero. Then we'll broadcast another message. We'll call it hide player two shield. So let's go here. Hide. Hide player two shield. Hide player two shield. We'll need those broadcasts later. So let's work on the shields right now. So this is the outside shield, the player one shield one. So when flag clicked, I wanna show it and get a forever loop. Forever, I want this to go to the player, player one. This is for the uh, player one shield. And I, I made this uh, outside shield turn five degrees, uh, five degrees to the right. And if, it's touching, if touching the player two shield one, touching player two shield one. So if it's touching this outer shield, player two shield one. So this is to prevent them from going near each other because I found it a bug where if you, uh, you um, if there's no bounce, if they don't go bouncy, if they, if they touch each other and they don't bounce apart, then one player can get on top of the other and kill them immediately. So we need to, Broadcast a new message called bounce. We'll need that later. Bounce. And right here from the player one, we broadcasted hide player one shield. So when I received that, we want to hide. And then for the player two shield, it's pretty much the same thing, except we do not need that last bit of script of the bouncing part. We do not need this. This part right here, this part we do not need. And instead of five degrees, instead of turning right five degrees, we can turn left. I made it turn seven degrees to the left. You guys can make it however slow or fast you want. The faster it is, the harder it is to get it through both the shields. So I did um, turn left one of them, and for the right, I did turn right on one of them. So um, we can, so now you have to turn right and turn left, so it's opposite. And for player one, when it receives bounce, then we can like change the X by negative 30, so they cannot come together. Okay. And then for player two, it's um, we also have to do the same thing. For the bounce, just drag and drop it into player two. And instead of negative 30, we're gonna do 30. Since it's already pointing to the left, so making it go even more to the left wouldn't make sense. 
So we have to make it 30 since it's already pointing to this way. Um, and then finally for the, um, and then for the text, we have text. This is for winning and losing. So from the uh, players, we broadcast, I mean, the lasers, we broadcasted a message called player two and player one dead right here. So I already have the costumes. So player one wins and player two wins. I made one in red and one in blue because this one's blue and this one's red. So I'm just going to add the code. So when I, when I receive player two, player one dead, when I receive player one dead, switch costume to costume one, which is the first costume, which is player one. Um, I'm sorry, sorry. Um, switch to the costume two, because when the player one is dead, we want to switch to the second one, noting that the second second player has one. And then we want to show and stop all. And then we need to duplicate this. Instead of player one dead, we'll use player two dead. Player two dead, and instead we'll switch costume to costume one. Since the player two is dead, that means the player one is winning. And then we want to show, stop all. And then when flag clicked, we want to go to zero, zero, which is the center. Go to the front layer and hide in the beginning. Okay. So next, finally, we have to do the ladybug alien code. Okay, so first for the ladybug alien, with whatever you want to call it, we have to create a custom block called create alien. Create alien, click OK. And then for this one, every uh, every time you'll clone two of them, so repeat two times, create a clone of myself. And then for uh, get a one flag clicked. When flag is clicked, we want to set this variable we made in the beginning. Set the alien set for player one, that variable, to zero in the beginning. And then I want to set the size to 50%. The alien should be 50%, so it's not too big. And then I'm going to wait one second. And then, and then it'll start creating aliens after one second. So then you call this block, this code right here, create alien. And then in the scrolling platformer, I also did this. So we want to set the X to negative nine, 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 nine. So then the actual alien, not the clone will get off the screen. Sometimes the hide does not work. And I'm just going to put the hide here just in case. So after that, we want to get a, when I start as a clone. When I start as a clone, let's make it zoom a little bit. When I start as a clone, I want to go to pick random. I want to make it pick random negative 200 and, oh no, you don't need this one. Negative 200 to 200. So the aliens will spawn from this X position to like this one, somewhere in between. And then for the Y, I made it 150. So it'll be like spawn like above here. And I want to show after that. Show. And then after that, um, we, we need to make a variable called flying to spaceship name. In the beginning, I told you there's one in the first video. I told you guys there's one uh, variable for this sprite only. So since I already I got this from a backpack, that's why it already has it. But this is for this sprite only. Make this variable called flying to spaceship name, and it should be only for this sprite. So remember that. And then we want to set the flying to spaceship name to blank in the beginning, to nothing. And then if, get an if else statement. If the uh, alien set her player, player one, is equal to zero. Alien set for player one. Then we can set the flying to spaceship name to player one. Player one. Player one. And 
set the alien set for player one to one. Else, we will do set flying to spaceship name to player two. So this is just to pick random which spaceship the alien will go for. And you have to spell it exactly how it's like or it'll get messed up. And then we need to get a point towards point towards the flying to spaceship name. So it can be either the player one or the player two. And then we want to get a repeat until. Repeat until the um is touching the flying to spaceship name. Whichever one player one or player two. And then we have move three steps. Move three steps. If touching edge, if it's touching the edge, touching edge, then we'll move it back to pick random, pick random, uh, go to pick random negative 200 to 200. So if it's touching the edge, we'll make it go back somewhere up here. And the Y is 150. And duplicate this. So, oh my god, oops. Duplicate at this right here. Get an or. If it's touching the laser one or laser two, laser one or laser two. So if it's touching either one of those, we want it to disappear. Um, so we'll make, no, not disappear, but make it just respawn somewhere up here. So make it look like the laser will kill it or something. And then next we want to get if touching. If, if it's touching, we need three ores. Actually, we only need two, I think. So, and then we'll need it to do, um, if touching player one, player one, or player one, uh, shield, shield one, player one, shield one, or the player one, shield two. Then we want to broadcast player one got hit and wait. Player one got hit. And wait, and then we want to make it go back to this random position. And then we want to just duplicate this whole chunk of code, put it under here. Instead of player one, we'll do player two. Instead of player one, shield one, do player two, shield one. And instead of player one, shield two, we'll do player shield two, uh, player two, shield two. And then we'll broadcast player two got hit. And then we'll make it go back to a random position. Okay, so now we are done. We can save our project, and I will show you guys. And I also forgot to do one last thing. Add the code for these. So I'm just going to drag and drop it for the red. Red shields. I forgot about that. Drag right here. So for here, instead of, we'll do hide player 2 shield. Instead, this one's hide, hide player one shield. This is hide player two shield. And instead of go to player one, we want to make it go to player two. And if touching player one shield one instead. And then right here, hide player two shield, go to player two. And turn, instead of turn five degrees, we can make it turn. We do not need this piece of code as well. Make it turn to the left seven degrees. There you go. So now let's play it. So as you can see, oh yeah, let me show the variables of the shield so then you can see the health go down. So I'm just gonna move this on this side, move this on this side. I'm gonna double click on it so then I'll be like that. So my data will be playing here. So it's WASD and spacebar, and then I'll do I'll be playing as player two.
So as you can see, you can't go together. And I actually shot. He actually, my dad actually shot me through here. So yeah, that's pretty much the game. And I also forgot one last thing to add the music. So I actually download a non-copyright music from the YouTube uh, audio list. So I need to get the sound. It's just I'm just gonna upload it. You guys can do get whatever you want. I just got a, a short song, I guess. I'm just gonna do that. <clears throat> and this song is kind of soft, so I'm gonna turn up the volume a little bit. So okay. Um, and also. I'm going to make the HP for this a little bit lower, maybe at like 500, just so I can show you how the shield disappears at the end when you lose all your health. And then, so, I'm just going to destroy one shield. Oops, I actually shot through it, okay. I might as well also change the bullet damage so then I can have like maybe 50, negative 50. Let's see. No. So as you can see, I just destroyed the enemy shield. As you can see, boom, it's already gone. So I'm gonna show you guys one more time. Oh, I actually went through. See, now the shield is gone and you can just one shot them. So that is the game. The two player a two player space shootout game. And um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and ring the notification bell to see all the latest updates on the channel. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.